green. Blue is a quite visual thing. It, 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 it only cares about the colors, the, the styles, the font, those things. It won't you has nothing to do with any you know processing or functionality. Whereas your activity which is carrying this view is like your processing or activity or uh, functionality. In terms of like say you you are working on your Twitter app at the moment. You got a phone call. So always in your Android phone you might be uh, already experienced. The phone is having the power value. What are you do? You get a phone call, your current app will go backwards, phone application will run front, yeah, it will be in the phone now and you will be notified that somebody is calling you. Okay. And then you will choose whether you wanted to pick up the call or you can cut the call. It's a different story. But the current application is going from foreground to background and phone application which is lying so far in the menu, it is coming to the foreground. It's our common experience, right? So this exchange of applications has happened through the activities. Okay. Phone activity has notified the Twitter uh, activity that uh, see I am getting a call so I am taking over. You go back and So this activity, okay fine. It will switch off its view, it will go back and you will have your phone activity on call. Only when you kill the phone activity, on ramp will take care. When you kill the phone activity, some of you who are using smartphones might have experienced it. The one which has gone to background as by default will come to phone call any other application. That is happening because Android will see, okay, now phone call is over, what he was doing prior to taking the call and it will put back into your phone call. So now your phone will show whatever you previously were doing. Okay. So that's how they will maintain, you know, the organization of applications in Android. So use, as I said, is so organized as trees to build up GUIs. What does it really mean is, like you have a background design chosen by Twitter, some design, like you can see the title bar is bluish. It's their, it's their general style. Twitter in uh, website also will look like very similar. So it's a tree of various views. You have a VG, on top of it you have a title bar, on top of it you have individual frames for segregating. You can see this is a socket heading, like all the views. And then this speech is having one image. So it's a tree. If you, uh, if you put it on a paper, what is not containing? Your DG will be at the top of it's a room at the top. And, isn't it? You you grab projects or not? So it is uh, so the view is a collection of several UI items that make up one complete view to fill your whole screen and complements the activity. When activity is running, the activity has to have something to show. When you switch on your TV, it has to, you know, something it has to put. You know, some channel has to come, isn't it? Which has to be filled in all of your TV, isn't it? Similarly, your application will be activated. Its activity will load the view that currently has to be. And then they will have changes, like say Twitter application. Uh, say like you want to see the list of all your Twitter contacts. You will tap that particular icon, it will instantly change to a different activity inside which you will have a different view where all the contacts are listed. Isn't it? So you are still inside that application, but you are, you know, navigate between the content of that particular application. So UI elements, as I just said, your view is made up of individual elements called UI elements. So this is action bar. So this Twitter board is a UI icon, then your refresh icon, then your search icon, find icon. So all these are individual UI elements. So when you so this is what you do. When you say I'm an Android developer. You start making your own application, say a very interesting technology application, or the 
brought it up in the When you start doing that, first thing you do is you create one activity and inside that you will say welcome to the department of ECD. Okay, if there is some background, you have chosen background, what are your college programs could be. Yeah, so what you will do is basically you will add up all that you wanted to add there. So the welcome to department of ECE is one UI item which you will put somewhere on the screen. That's your choice. Graphically where that UI element has to stand in the view depends upon the coordinates that you pass. This is like typical XY chart that you guys plot. So X starts here and moves in that direction, Y starts here and moves in this direction. This is the origin. So you will, for individual placement of each UI item, you will pass one coordinate to it. X coordinate, Y coordinate, and you will do one secure. Okay? So working with the GUI to decide the design of your application, the look and feel of your application is like working with views and UI elements. Okay. Then we got the next thing, content providers, <coughs> which is typically your lines of tasks. Yeah? You are uh, making an application, you will do a lot of your projects in your course. Okay? <coughs> so, applications to store and share data. So, so the main uh, area that takes time while our demands our attention while making any application whether it's phone or system or any other thing also is data right when you are saying you are making an application you are doing something to the data will be different if it's a game it will be images isn't it if it is a maybe uh, context it's a database where you store all the individual's name and mobile phone number and you know other things, email address and that. So all the time when, when you're talking about making something for a computer or for a mobile phone, you are dealing with that data. You have to store the data, make it available, write real data, you know, update it, make it available whenever the application want to read something from the data, isn't it? So content providers in Android is that area where you will store data of each application which is available for its own purpose and there is a variety that it can offer data to another application also. Okay? So for example, uh, applications like Instagram or on uh, <coughs> some application, you don't need, need to take names, but where it will, the application is, when you are inside the application itself, it will ask where you want to take a photograph, like say like uh, image uh, drag applications in this current uh, Samsung mode kind of devices, where you have a photograph, you will make your own drag on it, say like happy birthday or something, and you will send it to somebody in a, you know, in a greeting. So, that particular photo editing application, it is giving you problems <coughs> whether you open a photo that is already physically present in your phone or you take a snap that's there, there itself and use that snap as your you know, input to that thing. So at that particular point of time what it's doing, the application inside which you are in is trying to go to camera of that phone. Yeah? and ask the camera to take the snap and provide that snap to this particular application, right? So that is what exactly what they mean share. So camera is sharing its content data to your photo editing software, right? So applications are capable of creating data, storing it and sharing data to other application as per the request of the other application. SQLite is the database technology that we use inside all the platforms, mostly. iPhone also goes with SQLite, this one also goes with SQLite. Okay. The RT 
IBM is constant or common. If you know one database, you know everything. 